wanted to cover a few more things uh, today. Uh, there's been a lot of requests for the S&P E-mini, the ES, which, you know, I've made it known it's not really my favorite market to trade. I find that other markets are much easier to make money with on a consistent basis. But Trend Jumper works really well on the ES just by using the exact same trade plan as we do with the Dow E-mini starting two minutes after the open. You can see here at 8.34 today, there's a, a trade set up at 16.84 and three quarters. Going to the middle target, 16.87 and a quarter. You know, maybe you want to even go to the third target. Trend Jumper is very versatile. So it triggers in, and you can see the jump to the target. And again, the accuracy maybe with the S&P too accurate because you got to pierce through to get filled right meanwhile the stop is starting to move up it does pierce through Do you want to add to your position here well if you test it out and you figure in certain situations you can do that and do really well but just assuming that we're not we're staying with the blue trade the trailers moving up it's already exceeded the target the fixed target so the second half of the position is still going these jump trades did work. Finally goes all the way to here on the trailer. You know, maybe you take one or two add-ons. But even if you don't, playing it safe is always good when you're trading. You want to protect your capital. But whatever your trade plan says, I mean, that's ultimately what you want to do. But that's today's session on the S&P using a 1974 tick chart. I think that's a really good time frame. Works really well. In fact, yesterday was a winner, the day before was a winner. Trend Jumper gets you in front of the moves. As long as the markets are moving, you want to be in those moves, right? Well, the Trend Jumper gives you context, shows you where to get in, where to get out, and how to manage your trade. How about Forex? Well, there's plenty you could do with Forex, and my favorite trades are the end of day charts. I'll show you some that I'm in, but we also have some uh, other time frames. This is a 15 minute chart trades during the Asian session and you can see this one at 20 o'clock <laughs> that's uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time the Asian session in full swing and you know look how nice that one worked ended up stopping out here but that's a pretty nice gain from 94 call it 41 to uh, 94 5 9 that middle target the trailer got almost the same okay that's on the CAD yen 15 minute another 15 minute chart that works well in the Asian session the Aussie US we've got a custom trade plan on the owners club this was the last trade 2115 this is great if you work full time and you want to trade a little bit after work this one triggers in and I've got automation set up on this one and you can see that that one too was a partial winner, didn't quite get far enough to get to the big target up here. But you could certainly take profit at this target, or you can just let the trailer do its thing and exit right there. Uh, that went from 9462 and got out at 9472. So that only made 10 pips. But you know, you take what the market wants to give you. Some of my end of day Forex swing trading. This is a live position right here. I'm long the Aussie CAD. You can see it hit the first target. And actually hit both. Let's see, that is at uh, 9859. Got as high as 9857 in a fraction. So missed this target by one and, you know, less than two pips right there. So I got to pay attention to that. I probably got to take a little bit off. I always like to take. Uh, part of my position off at each one of these target levels and I just missed by a fraction so it may push higher but what I don't want it to do is start heading lower I want to get the most I can out of that one and still leave the rest of my position on to try to get to target three meanwhile the stop will move up and lock in and take the risk off the trade now that that second target has been hit so the rest of the trade will be a risk-free trade I gotta go ahead and move those stops on that one and you can see it's been a really great pair to trade this blue trade getting in 
Notice it just missed, but the stop held and ultimately hit its first target, second target. I mean, it hit its third target way over here, but at this point, we're locking in profit. So the rest of that trade came off down in here. But we also had the small little trade, right? Actually, I take that back. The small little trade looks like it was a good one. I mean, it poked right on through, but it gapped up through the entry. And so we had to let that one go. Not going to chase it. Then this trade canceled. So really, it's just been this blue trade and then this blue trade on the Aussie CAD. Another live trade is the pound Aussie and this one just triggered in the other day right there and it pushed down with a lot of momentum just barely missed the first target but being patient we are now pushing through the first target right now even as I'm recording this that first target at 6828 right and it's pushed down to 6829. It's on the 30 level here. So we needed to go another pip or two. And then a quarter of the position is going to come off. And I've already got that set up using myfx.com trading console. I've got that managing my positions. So there's noth nothing really I need to do uh, unless I want to go in there and just scale out and realizing I'm only a pip or two away from that target but it looks like it's gonna push through just gonna be patient let it play itself out and that's a really nice trade it's taken one two three days nice big trade So imagine if this thing keeps falling and I can get to this target here this target there I mean that happens you can see on this long trade got to that middle target the rest was at risk free I often show this because it's such a powerful chart, but all these trades are hitting targets with accuracy. So much you can do with Trend Jumper, and Forex is the, the opportunities are endless. Maybe on the next video we'll look at some stocks and options. More great choices. A couple more days left on the Trend Jumper launch. And then we're going to wrap it up for uh, 2013. Trend Jumper will be off the market. So if you're thinking you wanted to get a hold of the Trend Jumper, you may want to check us out. Visit our blog. Look at the offer. It's got a long track record. And I will be in the live trade room starting Tuesday teaching our newest members how to use the Trend Jumper in the live markets. Thanks for joining me, everybody, on this video. This is TJ. PTU Trend Jumper, netpix.com. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.